Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. We got a bevy of stories for you today that I can't wait to get into. Uh, but if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you might want to because all new subscribers uh, all the way through January 27th get an opportunity to win cha-ching, $100 in cash. That's right, cash money put it into your bank put it into your savings invest it do whatever you would like i can give it to you as an eShop card if you like but i can give it to you through venmo zelle cash app paypal it doesn't really matter it's a hundred dollars usd being given away to any well not any but potentially to you as a brand new subscriber now if you're thinking i could just unsubscribe and resubscribe youtube does not actually count that as a new subscriber even though the subscriber count will go down and up doesn't count so yeah i can actually access the back end list on this so i will know if you are a new subscriber or not that being said that doesn't mean that i forgot all the rest of you people who have been subscribed this entire time that's why we are giving away three copies of pokemon legends arceus to enter to win that all you need to do is head down into the description or the pinned comment and click on that viral sweep link and i wish everyone luck on that also i would appreciate if you guys would do an additional subscription please take some time out of your day and head on over to our nintendo prime podcast channel we're trying to get that push there get all our podcast episodes up over there and keep that going as well that being said let's get into today's bevy of news starting with mr masahiro sakurai the man the myth the legend the creator of kirby the creator of smash bros he's been in the news a bit lately for a couple of things first let's talk about his most recent bit in the news and that is that he feels as if we should just not pay attention to him for a while. In an interview he did in Japan, he noted that, you know what, whatever he is doing or going to be doing next, it's going to be a while until we see it. So we should just kind of forget about him as if we could actually forget about one of the greatest game directors and producers of all time. It's going to be very hard to ignore Mr. Masahiro Sakurai, but it kind of sounds like he's pleading with fans, pleading with media to basically just leave him the hell alone. Um, whatever he's working on is going to take a while because it's probably something he's only just now getting into. And we don't know what that is. Is it another Smash Bros game? We don't know. Is it something bigger than Smash? Is it Kirby? Is it something new, a new IP? Maybe he's making something for PlayStation. We have no idea what Mr. Masahiro Sakurai has cooking, but we do know that he is asking people to just kind of forget about him for a while. He'll let us know when it's time to pay attention again. So anything he tweets, anything, don't start clinging on to every word he says as if it means anything until something new is announced from his camp. Remember, he does have his own development studio and he is 100% independent of Nintendo. Nintendo. He was just contracted by them for games like Smash. He might continue to work with Nintendo, by the way. We don't know. Just know that whatever he's working on, it's going to be a while. It could be four or five years if it is on a Nintendo platform, likely on their next device that Nintendo, by the way, did, did confirm exists and is coming out in 20XX, which basically just means it's coming out someday. But, well, someday before 2100. So it'll be here in my lifetime, so that's cool. But yeah, my, Master Sakurai just kind of wants to be left alone, and I think we can all respect that. However, Masahiro Sakurai was also in the news lately for one other thing, and this is a bit of an emotional statement. He was talking to IGN about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate now that it's all wrapped up, and he said something very pointed. He believes he has completed Satoru Iwata's final mission to him. These are his words. Now, for those who don't know, Satoru Iwata, the late president and CEO of Nintendo of Japan, obviously passed away from colon cancer. This is unfortunate and obviously rocked the video game industry at the time because he was much beloved, even as Nintendo at the time was in the midst of their worst generation of all time. Satoru Iwata himself was very beloved by his staff and obviously very beloved by a lot of Nintendo fans. He started Nintendo Directs directly to you. Obviously, he led the Wii and DS generation, which before Switch was the greatest generation in Nintendo history. He was very loved by everyone around him and one of the hardest workers and very honorable. He was the one who started the whole, hey, just because we're doing bad with Wii U and 3DS doesn't mean we're firing employees. I'm gonna slash my own salary instead. Very honorable thing to do, something you rarely hear, you know, as the Activisions of the world tell you that, you know, oh, woe is us, we need to fire staff, but still pay massive bonuses to ourselves. Very crazy that that's how the world works, but that's not how it worked with Satoru Iwata. Well, him and Masahiro Sakurai were essentially best 
friends. In fact, Sakurai has talked about this over the years, how really the only reason he continued to make Super Smash Bros. in general was as a favor to his good friend Satoru Iwata. Iwata and him go way back to the HAL Laboratory days. They help make Kirby together. They help make Smash Bros. together. Iwata was obviously responsible for even Pokemon being a thing on Game Boy. He had to rewrite a lot of the code at the base level to even make it run on that hardware. Iwata's track record does not need to be revisited more than that because it's absolutely incredible. He is brilliant. And the thing is, you know, Satoru Iwata and Masahiro Sakurai had a great friendship. And to hear that this is what he felt was the final mission from Iwata is... It, 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 it's, it, it's heartwarming, but also heartbreaking because there's a high likelihood that Masahiro Sakurai and Iwata were in contact in Iwata's final days, and it wouldn't be surprising if he gave him this mission to make the ultimate Super Smash Bros. game. Um, and that's what we got with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It can explain why this is the time that Nintendo and Sakurai came together to actually bring every character that's ever been in Smash together to do the impossible and get things like Sora into Smash, to do the impossible and get Joker into Smash, to do the impossible and get Banjo-Kazooie into Smash. It explains why there is so much emphasis on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and why it could be quite some time before we see a brand new game in the Smash series, which which Sakurai has also admitted he doesn't think can be done without him anyways. It's very, very heartwarming and very touching to know that essentially the conclusion of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, he feels, is his ultimate tribute to his good friend, Satoru Iwata. So while he is dearly missed, Masahiro Sakurai made sure to, that we always remember that Smash Bros. Ultimate doesn't just exist because of him. It exists because his late friend, Satoru Iwata, asked him to do it on his deathbed and he made it happen truly legendary from one of the best creators in the video game industry now moving into a bit of a uh, more you know uplifting story i suppose it's it's gonna spark some debate uh there was a japanese uh, tv station called what is it tv As asahi I, I, again i don't know how this is directly pronounced in English, uh, but they did a national poll in Japan for what uh, gamers thought were basically the top 100 console games of all time, um, which is really interesting. I think they were just excluding PC and mobile phones, I think was the idea there, because handheld and um, you know, handheld consoles and home consoles counted. Uh, what's interesting here is they polled over 50,000 different gamers from across all of Japan, and the list is quite interesting. Uh, I will show the entire list on screen right now, but we're not gonna go over everything there are some interesting notes of course uh, at the very top of the list that's where everyone really focuses on breath of the wild actually took the number one spot um so you can look at this as kind of like a ranking among japanese gamers of the top 100 games in japanese history and yeah breath of the wilds are at the top and you got dragon quest 5 at number two and final fantasy at number three i think that's a really solid top three uh and then you get an animal crossing new horizons at four and splatoon 2 at five like that top five is really good uh, we'll keep going down maybe all the way through the top 30 here we got um, Dragon Quest 3, The Seeds of Salvation at number 3, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, the game we just talked about at number 7, Chrono Trigger at number 8, Final Fantasy X at number 9, Super Mario Bros. 3 at number 10, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl at number 11, Super Mario Kart at number 12, Undertale at number 13, Pokemon Sword and Shield at number 14, Dragon Quest 4, Chapters of the Chosen at number 15, Kingdom Hearts 2 at number 16, The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time at number 17, number 18 has uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Number 19 is Sukaden 2. Number 20 is Minecraft. Number 21 is Splatoon. Number 22 is Animal Crossing New Leaf. Number 23 is Fire Emblem Three Houses. Number 24 is Red, Green, and Blue. Uh, for Pokemon, number 25 is Tetris. Number 26 is Pokemon Black and White. Number 27 is Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of an Elusive Age. Number 28 is Mother 2, not Mother 3, Mother 2. Uh, number 29 is Okami. And number three, interestingly enough, is Apex Legends. And you can go on down the list, there might be some surprises 
surprising additions and uh, missing games in that list to you. Obviously, this is based on Japanese likes and dislikes, and I do think that there does seem to be an affinity more to more recent releases. Um, that's why we're seeing things like, I think, Pokemon Sword and Shield rankings so high compared to other Pokemon games. But still, this is obviously just one country and this select user group uh, making this pick. Obviously, your given top 100 is probably going to be significantly different from this top 100. Although, obviously, I have some bias here because I think Breath of the Wild is actually the greatest game of all time. So, it being at number one, this just kind of added some additional validation for me. Now, I do think as we head into 2022, I do want to actually throw a little bit of this poll at you guys. Now, I don't want you to go ahead and give me your top 100 games of all time because that could take quite some time to compile and a lot of debates and a, a, a lot of stuff. I mean, maybe throughout 2022, maybe we'll put together um, some sort of polling competition where maybe we create a bracket and we can kind of rank games that way. I don't know. I think that could be a lot of fun. But what I actually want to do instead is talk more about what your top 10 games of all time are. And that can even take some debate. So take your time, go down into the comments and let me know what your top 10 is. And maybe, maybe if this video can get, I don't know, let's say, let's go with 700 likes on this video. Um, at the end of next of the next video I make, I will give you my top 10 games of all time. That's right, I'm not going to give it to you now. You're going to have to earn that one. All right, folks, I am Nathaniel RubbleJets Jets from Nintendo Prime. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the content. We're getting close to the end of the year. What is today, the 30th? I mean, man, the first is right around the corner. We got New Year's Eve tomorrow. I'm really, really excited uh, for what's happening at this channel in 2022. Can't wait to talk to you about it because I believe I have a video coming either tomorrow or on New Year's Day itself talking about my plans for this channel in 2022. Uh, I'm really excited about the things that we want to build here. Uh, but remember, folks, if you are new here, subscribe to the channel for an opportunity to take home $100 in cash money over the next month. Obviously, we're giving away three copies of Pokemon Legends Arceus as well. And who knows, a hell of a lot more in 2022. I'm really excited, and I'm going to catch each and every one of you guys in the next video.